Hey, so... Uh... This is an emergency message to all Commonwealth Army soldiers. Emergency protocols 1-7 Echo Charlie Niner are in effect. If you are in distress, please proceed to the South Boston Military Checkpoint Parade. Coordinates are available in your emergency handbook. This checkpoint has been designated as a safe house in case of enemy invasion, and is currently stocked with additional food, water, and ammunition. This safe house is for military personnel only. Citizens, including non-military family members, will be turned away from matters of national safety. This message will repeat. This is an emergency message to all Commonwealth Army soldiers. Emergency protocols 17 Echo Charlie Niner are in effect.
What kind of things, you ask? Well, I will. I will tell you. I have heard that they, uh, that they have taken over the castle. Which I guess was there a long time ago, but hasn't been for a while. Monster fish? Maybe? I don't know. I, that, not relevant. The Minutemen are there now. That's good. For them. And I guess for everyone else too. So, yeah. How about, how about some music? Now it's being taught me everyone. Son of a bitch, Sergeant Riser caught me trying to have a look in the warehouse. And that asshole actually drew his weapon on me. Look, Perry, I know you two came up together and all, but I'm telling you that guy is dirty and I need you to have my back on this. Those ration crates didn't just go missing on their own. And it's our job to make sure they're getting to the people who need them. Just lean on him a bit, okay? See if he'll let you in the warehouse to have a look around. McDonald out. Protectron on duty. Talk, Perry. Your partner keeps sticking his nose where it shouldn't be. I don't care if he's a cop. If he keeps sniffing around the tracks, he's liable to get hit by the train. Are we clear? Anyway, I've got the stuff moved down into the utility tunnels, but it's burning a hole in my pocket. 
I don't want to hear any more excuses about it being hard to fence. People would pay top dollar for this stuff. Hey, so nice. uh, there's this bit of news that uh, might it might interest you. Uh, if not, hang on a minute and I'll go back to the music. Jack, this is Perry. What's taking you so long, cuz? You should have moved more than half this stuff by now. I've got that sanctimonious prick McDonald breathing down my neck. Partner my ass. We gotta get this stuff out of here and skip town before Reese catches on. We'll let his dumb ass take the fall for this and, and come back in a week or so and, and, and say our grandma was having, was having health problems down in New York. Just make sure you're ready tonight and... Who's there? You better show yourself, asshole. So, um, this radio station, here, we, we don't really make any caps, and, uh, there are, uh, well, some people help me stay in the air. People like, uh, like this. Swatters. Own a piece of Diamond City history, and then beat people to death with it. What time is it? Why, it's time for a whole lot of shaking. <laughs> because... And that's the name of the next song. I, I thought I would try something there. Probably didn't work. That's fine. Yeah, here's the song. Bail me out.
John. Anyone out there. My family needs your help. We're trapped in our bunker in John's salvage yard. Generator running the ventilation died in the hatch. Shut tight. Vacuum sealed. Please, someone. We're almost out of oxygen. The hatch is in the tipped train car. Please, start the generator. Kimmy, stay calm, honey. Breathe slowly. That's it. Slowly. Rise is on. Fan out. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. John. Anyone out there? My family needs your help.
message. Message repeats in three seconds. Nice. 
This checkpoint has been designated as a safe house in case of enemy invasion and is currently stocked with additional food, water, and ammunition. This safe house is for military personnel only. Citizens, including non-military family members, will be turned away from matters of national safety. This message will repeat.
occurrences. Piper. I wish Head I my way. there when you kicked Mayor McDonough's butt. Nah. New issue of the public. Piper. Head my way? You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that or get back to writing the paper. I guess the paper can wait. Sure, let's go. Will do. Hey. Walk away. Back. The institute could be right behind you. Hey. Hey. It's big, loud, full of corrupt officials and bad noisy citizens, but it's home. Heads up. Shoot. Institute's gone. Do you know what this means? You gonna make me guess? Have you ever known me to hold back information? It means no more kidnappings. No more sleepless nights terrified your neighbors plotting against you. No more fear. Thanks to you, we don't have to be afraid anymore. They don't have to be afraid, thanks to us. I never could have done this by myself. True. But the Institute was around for a long time before you got here. Not anymore. Welcome to day one of the new Commonwealth. Heads up. You say the... You holding up, Blue? Yeah, holding up. Look, I'm just gonna say it. You're a vault dweller. You might not be wearing the blue jumpsuit, but the Pip-Boy and that fish-out-of-water look? Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. Besides, I'm already following you around. <laughs> might as well get some quotes while we're at it. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes, I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, we should probably get going. Thanks again.
Good neighbor, huh? You looking to get stoned or stabbed? Look alive. What can I do? Hey, Piper. What's going on? I think we're done for now. Sure thing. I'll head home. So, the big kaboom hits old CIT. I hope the stories are true and the Institute got what was coming to them. Too bad about Finn. Gonna miss him next Super Mutant Attack Rolls round. Oh well. What can I do for our newcomer? Looking for work. Work, huh? Hmm. I'll tell you what. I got reconnaissance needs. There's a lot of weird talk coming in about a place called the Pikmin Gallery. It's Raider territory up there, but they've been quiet. Like uncomfortable post-coitus quiet. Snoop it out and give me the word. Scout out Pikmin Gallery. On it. Cool. Be thorough, okay? I'm not paying for a look-see. Find out what's really going on there.
hiding from me? This is bullshit. That's his Pikmin psycho? The slippery bastard got away before, but Slab won't leave a man breathing after he. Huh? Am I the only person who thinks it's kind of funny the Institute is destroyed by a giant robot? I mean, there's a joke there somewhere, I'm sure. A new player in good name. Hello, little pawn. Welcome to our fun. How's my little scout doing? You find out what's happening at Pikmin Gallery? God, it was awful. Pikmin was a serial killer. He was using dead bodies for his... art. Oh, seriously? That's messed up. Even for this town. I'll put the word out to avoid that place. Good work. You ended up in the abyss, but you crawled back in one piece. Here's your money. Mayor Hancock? Something up? Hey. What's the word? Go ahead. You ever tried chess? Sometimes you need to sacrifice a piece to keep the game going. Keep that in mind.
a raider? I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. I'm just here between jobs. You there. We need to have a conversation. You got my attention. And you got my attention by poking your nose into my business. Specifically, by shooting up a place called Parsons State Insane Asylum. A place that happens to be owned by my boss. Yeah, I remember that place. That's nice. You did a lot of damage. But I don't hold any of that against you. Part of the cost of doing business these days. I took the trouble of tracking you down because I'm always looking for people that can handle themselves in dangerous situations. Seems like you may fit the bill. What's the job? I don't know yet. Whatever needs to be done once my boss has had a look at you, I can assure you that it will be dangerous. And that you'll be paid fairly. I live for danger. Where do I sign up? I like your enthusiasm. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Hi, I'm Meg. Well, hello. Hi, I'm Meg. Are you new to the hill? For ten caps, I can give you the tour. Nobody knows a place like me. Not interested. <laughs> you're a loss. Listen, Bunker Hill doesn't want any trouble. You have some seriously powerful friends. If it'll keep us on their good side, consider yourself to have the run of the place. And the next time you need something, just ask, all right? So you want that tour or not? Ten caps. Not interested. <laughs> You're a loss. Silver Shroud fans. I got an urgent mission. If you're a true fan, stop by the memory den and to talk to Kent Conley. The Silver Shroud needs you. Talk to Jack Cabot? Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Good day to you! Come on. 
Let's go meet the boss. Sounds good. Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to. He'll be right with us. <laughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? The universe is a big place. Anything could be out there. Wonderful. Most people's minds are too narrow to admit the possibilities of an infinite universe. But I'm not talking about flying saucers and little green men. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. That's really interesting. I'm glad to hear you say that. It's become my life's work. My approach is to combine a rigorous scientific method while keeping an absolutely open mind. So much has been closed off to us simply because people assumed they already knew the answers. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even, clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment? Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. I'm ready to get to work. Good. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. You know the old insane asylum you shot up? Parsons? There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? You haven't told me half of what I need to know. Keep your shirt on. I'm getting to it. You should start at Parsons. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Yep, I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job.
place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh. You're the new guy. So this package... Pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery. Just north of here. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. Hey, be careful. It's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Normal raiders would have grabbed the loot and bugged out by now. It's like they're scouting the place or something. I'll be glad when you clear them out. It's not acceptable. Imogene is missing, and I want her found. She's not missing, Mother! Do you know where she is? No, but that doesn't Your mean... Your sister is missing, and I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? I'd be happy to send someone to look for her, ma'am. It's not a... Mother, Edward has better things to do than sending someone out to find Imogene. Again. I can't bear to think what might... So did you find out what happened to the right courier? Now. I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene decided to take a lover again. Some raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. I took care of them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next... Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. Imogene is out there somewhere, maybe even lying dead in a ditch, and you don't even care. If she wanted us to know where she went, she would have told someone. Jack, I'll take care of it. 
Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as today? You shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Imogene is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. No problem. I'll bring her back. The trouble usually isn't finding her. It's persuading her to come home. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. Got it. Off to Good Neighbor, then. I heard you walked that freedom trail. What, you some kind of, what do they call it? History buff? Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Saw that big explosion over at CIT? They say that's where the institute got started. Oi, we got beer. You ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. Yo, do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Night rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. 
She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! Jeez. This guy wants a word! Excuse me, miss. Hmm? What's the matter, Hansel? So, Don't tell me you didn't like the song. The barricades. How many hits you rack up? Six last Raider attack. I just wanted to talk Folks to you. So many hmm. Well, I thought that's what we were doing. Now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. It's your eyes. Quick and... intense. I bet you never miss a detail, hmm? <laughs> you like what you see? So what brings a man like you to my part of town? What do you think? We're all trying to forget something, are we? I think you and I are gonna get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? She's missing, and her family's worried about her. Oh, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. I just need to know where she is. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones, always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Imogene, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Imogene's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fella. You're looking for me? What can I do for you? Nothing. I'll leave you to it. Hmm. Okay. Whoa, now that is some armor. Check out those hydraulics. Enjoy your stay.
Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I'm looking for Imogene Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Imogene is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. You can tell them that she's fine. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> she's not seeing anybody until she cools off. I'm a friend of the family. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. Look, truth is... We had a little, uh, disagreement about her joining the movement. She got kind of violent. So I locked her in there until I could figure out what to do with her. If you're willing to take her off my hands, let me unlock the door for you, and then she's all yours. Uh, I've got to warn you. Decide to become one she's of the way stronger of the than she looks. Hello, neighbor. It took all of us combined to even get her locked up in there. Jack sent you. That's right. I'm here to rescue you. What makes you think I need to be rescued? These cultists seem to be holding you prisoner. Well, Thomas certainly thinks so. But really, I was just waiting to see if he would come to his senses. He seemed so interesting at first. But since we came here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first.
Edward, switch to single sideband modulating. Can you hear me? Edward, switch over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? King now. How's this? Oh, 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 that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders this. For God's sake, Sammy. The doorway, right there. Sorry. Things are a little busy around here right now. Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in! Edward! Ah. There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. Who are you again? What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. I found Emma Jean. She's fine. Oh, yes, good. Thank God. At least one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here, I hope that's the right amount. Now, we really need to focus on the current emergency. How can you be so callous about your sister's safety? I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. If some of them had used the undiluted serum, it could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. Whatever. Let's get going. Right, right. It's probably not important anyway. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. I don't need anything right now, thank you. Ready? Let's go. You should know what we're going to be dealing with. My father is confined in Parsons. For his own safety and everyone else's, he became dangerously unstable after handling an ancient artifact he found in Arabia. I've spent my life trying to figure out how to cure him. The artifact that's made Lorenzo so dangerous. I'm sure his psychosis would be cured if it could be removed. But so far, all my attempts have failed. It's fused too tightly with his nervous system.
You may have guessed by now that my family and I have lived for a very long time, thanks to the serum derived from my father's blood. I discovered the alterations for the world. conflict of interest in my father being the source of the treatment that is prolonging my own life. But I assure you that if I... You've done a heck of a job, Sentinel. Add Victorium.
men seem to have given a good account of themselves, but not good enough, sadly. We need to get to my office. From there, we can see how bad things really are. Okay, stick close, follow my orders, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's go. Good day to you! Locked from the other side somehow. We'll have to find a way around. We need the key. I can't believe there's gonna be worth the trouble. Look at this place. Nothing but dust share around here. Oh, it's gonna be. Wait, huh? This is. Oh. Oh. This is my oh. Oh. You are right for that! Warren Smith. Because I can't take it back. Keep your eyes open. I think this asshole's using a stealth gun. Hey. Uh, How about a bit of good? Uh, He's quiet at last. If you, you know, haven't already seen him, which I did, so I know it's true and not just something I overheard. But, uh, I, nice. Nick Valentine is back in town. He was gone for a while. And some people who are totally not me. Well, they, they thought if I could get I get back to the Even though we never really thought Well, that's it, then! Never. So, uh, right, okay. Uh, let's just, let's do the song by the three sons, because, well, if there's, a th there's three sons, we'll be dead soon. Yeah. I... I sent the elevator down to the basement, like you wanted, and shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. Yeah. <sighs> Haven't seen anybody for quite a while. I think. It's hard to keep track of time. You okay? Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. I just need to rest here a minute. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. They've definitely reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past it. It doesn't matter now. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have hey, already been breached. I'll be all right. We better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. Excellent. Got it. Let's go. Just follow my instructions and everything will be fine. Be careful, Jack. You too.
We need to hurry. this way. Nobody's been in here for decades. No telling what we'll run into. What a mess. Let's hope we can find a way through. The utility... Elevator is on the bottom floor. Come on. I don't know, like he ever tells us anything. Yeah, not exactly the pushover that we were promised. Well, you were what did those disappearing after find you? Putting a fucking bullet in your head. I don't care. Four of them playing games with peace and quiet and love. That's what I'm doing. Come on! Weird news. Oh. Must have run off. Uh, Relax. 
there's really oh, weird news. Oh, hell no! God's this sake! Shot. How many of these uh, bastards are there? Oh, okay. Ah! Here goes. And I swear, this is what I was told. What? I mean, obviously, if I was told that I heard it. Apparently, the, uh, the Chinese submarine. Uh, the old submarine elevator is off the coast. Off. Heading out to sea. I guess, uh, I guess we should be glad it wasn't going the other way, huh? I mean, I know I said it was going to be weird news, but that would be weird. I swear. I'm not making this up. This next song... This will take us to the mighty, basement. Come on. Mighty, it's and only that's twice in the title. I'm not further uh, modifying it with my opinion. Got it. Over here. Going down. Everyone you see, don't hesitate. We can't let them release Lorenzo. Hello, Jack. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. No, I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Let me see. Lucifer's balls. They've locked down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now! That's right. You need to shut down the containment field in order to open the door. Shit, they're breaking through the security doors! Hurry it up! Your men upstairs don't the seem door. to have been of Hurry. much use. The Abrevalus field is down! for him to regain his power. We still have a chance to stop him. Don't listen to my son. He's the crazy one. You know this. Look at what he's done to me. I built a failsafe into the containment grid. Switched the four Abremelin generators to manual override, and I can flood his cell with a lethal dose of Zeta radiation. Do the right thing. Open this door and let me out.
We didn't have any other choice, did we? You're gonna have to decide that for yourself. I know. He would have killed both of us, of course. And then the rest of my family, and that would only have been the beginning. His crimes, back when he was free. It was only because of my family's influence that he ended up here, rather than on death row. The world now, it's a world made for monsters. Nothing could have stopped him. No. I've answered my own question. We truly had no choice. I'm sorry about Lorenzo. Thank you. I appreciate that. Before you go, I couldn't have done this without your help. I think this is fair compensation. I won't be needing your services after this. Great. Thanks. One more thing. I've done so much research on the artifact. I may be able to do something with it. Come back and see me at Cabot House in a week or so. All my research may not have been completely in vain. Winoni Harris. I don't think we've met yet. Anyway, I just wanted to say thanks for the opportunity. So, is there anything you need me to get started on? So, the... Not right now. Thanks. Okay. Doing in the Commonwealth. What kind of things you ask? Well, I will. I will tell you. I have heard that they. <laughs> They have taken over the castle. Time ago, but it hasn't been for a while. It had been full of fish, or monsters, 
or monster fish? Maybe? I don't know. I didn't that not relevant. The Minutemen are there now. That's good for them. And I guess for everyone else too. So Yeah. How about how about some music? Day Hutton is on now. Singing about a man? Right? Ah, that's so stupid! It's Patty Hutton. That's what this one is, I think. Yes.
Skeeter Davis, a name I still find confusing. Here's a thing, a, a sort of a note, I guess, uh, from a sponsor here in Diamond City, and I'll, um, I'll just read it. Power noodles. Our chef only says one sentence, but that's okay because he only serves one thing. Adam Bomb Baby is next. That's uh, I didn't already know. If there's anything I can do to lighten the load, or, you know, if you need anything to spread. Another day of hard work. It never changes. Never thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. Piper. Heading my way? Sure. Let's go. Will do.
there's a story here, we'll find it. hands anyway. 